So investing and trading is a very stressful and high emotion game, right? So if you really look at how charts work, it's the psychology of a trader, right? So that's how we're able to identify, you know, these different patterns and also other ways of predicting the way that traders are going to push a price. So today I'm going to talk about three ways that I handle my stress and my emotions when I trade. So if those things are interesting to you, make sure you check out this video. So the first one I want to go over is risk management. So I'm always preaching about leveraging good risk management skills in order to become a more successful trader. So the biggest reason for this is because with risk management, it causes a lot of stress when you're trading funds that you actually need. So in the last bull cycle, we had people out here taking out mortgages. They were selling everything that they had and they were buying Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies at the top. And then, you know, they panic sold because that was money that they needed to have when the market decided that it wanted to go in into a correction, especially a prolonged correction. So you have to be able to invest and trade with money that you're not emotionally tied to. It will keep that stress level low, that blood pressure low, and it'll allow you to make more and more better and effective decisions when you're making your trades. So the second thing I want to talk about is dedicating time to trading. So trading is not something that you're going to miraculously, you know, come across some guru that's going to be like, you know, Bitcoin is going to increase 20% in one day. No one knows, right? We just play off of the game of probabilities based off of the data that the chart tells us, right? So you have to come up with your own trading strategy. And in order to decide how to really effectively trade in this market, you have to take time dedicated time to learn this craft you have to be able to you know get your research going you have to be able to understand what the charts are telling you and you don't want to be distracted by multitasking like i don't understand why people put their hard-earned funds at risk and treat it like it's you know um money that is not even theirs by being distracted while they're trading you know watching movies watching netflix uh, playing video games, going out to restaurants and making trades then because you feel like you're missing out. Well, I promise you, you're not missing out. Markets have their cycles. Um, it's always going to be there. So make sure that you trade during your dedicated time. And I, I'll talk about like how I'm able to be a, a trader, even having a full-time job, multiple businesses, um, sitting on board of directors for different companies. So I have to have that dedicated time and that schedule to carve out for trading. So um, stay on the lookout for that coming soon. So tip number three in this series is that you have to understand the importance of meditation. So I've gotten into the practice where I at least meditate for 30 minutes a day. I typically turn on a YouTube video and I just like try to ground and center myself I want to try to get all of the stresses out so I'm not taking that negative energy into my trading executions, right? So by meditating and bringing myself centered, it has helped me make better decisions on entries and exits. It's helped me detach emotionally from the charts and help me stay focused on the task at hand. So... I know that there's a lot of uh, different uh, styles of meditation out there or whatnot. My favorite thing is just to listen to calming, peaceful music. Uh, try to just relax, bring that cool energy, that positive energy, replace the negativity. And that helps me become a better and more focused trader. I'm going to in start including some of those um methods inside of my different trainings and different videos i'm also going to put up a playlist so you can just have um, on my site a dedicated playlist of meditation music i play meditation music while i'm trading i'm not over here going you know hardcore rap metal uh rock or listening to r&b because those things really uh, changes your emotions based off of whatever music you're listening to. So I like to be calm, cool, and calculated. And that's what I want you to be as well.
Thank you for sticking to the end of this video, checking out these three strategies to help you manage stress and emotions when it comes down to trading, investing, and anything that happens in life. Just remember these three things, right? You want to practice your risk management. You want to set your stop losses. You want to trade with money that you are not afraid to lose. Number two, you want to dedicate time so that you can put all of your focus on executing your trading strategy. And then number three, you also want to have calm, relaxing environment to help usher in that positivity. You don't want to take negativity into your trading. So make sure that you apply these three things to your trading style, this trading psychology. And we'll be back with more helpful tips and strategies to make you a, a successful trader. Yeah.